So here's our options. So we have p squared right here. We, can't, we don't really need to think of the p because the p is already in there. And so we have the 6 there. So really we need a 6 with this one. Okay? And with here p squared, or just p, we need p squared at least. So we would have to have multiply it by another p. And there's not a 6 here, so we would need to multiply it by a 6 too. And here we have the 6. And we need a p squared, so we have to multiply it by the p squared. And the p is kind of already involved with the p squared. So when we combine all that, we would just get 6p squared as our LC. Right, so then we would have our 3 over p squared minus 2 over p. Just rewrite that there. And then multiply the top and bottom by our 6p squared. Okay. So now what do we do? Thinking about the last problem we did. We need to multiply each of these terms by 6p squared. Does someone want to do that for me? Yeah. Good. Okay, do you want to just do this next step here instead of the whole thing? So you had, you did the 6p squared times 3 to get 18p squared, and then we still have it over p squared minus, and how do you combine these two? Good. Over our p still. And then we only go 6p squared times our 1 6. Right. Yep, so now let's reduce. Can we reduce anything? 18p squared divided by p squared? Yep, so I'm just going to cross those out. What about 12p squared and p? Right, so this p will cancel in this one. And what about here, 6p squared and 6? Yep, just the 6 this will cancel. So we're left with just 18 up here minus our 12p over, we cross out the 6 and 6p squared. <laughs> Because we want things to cancel, so we're only, if we have, so we, just for this top here, we have 3 over p squared minus 2 over p. And we're, if we want to write it as, oh, sorry. We, want, we can also, if you want to, write it as 6p squared over 1. Then we have our 1, 6 times 6p squared over 1. So that makes it only be for the top. So if you want to write it like that, you can definitely do that. If that helps clarify that there's a 1, and so you're only doing it to the top. Does that help? Oh, I just, because right now here we had 12p squared, so this is kind of the same as 12 times p times p, and we had it over p and over p, so just one of the p's will cancel. Oh. So I just crossed out that too to get rid of that. Yeah. Nope, because this is one whole thing, and so is this. So if you want to reduce it a little bit, we can. Is there anything that we can take out of the 18 and 12 to reduce that? Right, so if you want to write it, we'll take out the 6. So, three. so you could do that. So that kind of helps to see there's no more p, <coughs> p squared to cancel with the p squared. So. Yeah. Nope, because this is one whole term. So you can't split it up to cross things out. You gotta keep it like that. Okay. 
and that's just when you're holding one and you're adding the subtract. <laughs> Okay, so we have one last example here. And just to start out, if you want to kind of write this as 3 over 1 and 2 over 1 to help you see it, that might be a good idea. So first thing we want to do is find the least common denominator. So I'll just have you think about it for a second, see if you can get it, and then we'll talk about it. I'll zoom in. Yep, I just added this over one, just so it might help you see it a little bit. Does anybody have any ideas of what the least common denominator might be for this problem? Exactly, how did you get that? She said x minus one and x plus four. How did you get that? Right, you're exactly right. So if we look at it, we have this x plus 1 and x plus 4. In these, since I kind of added the over 1, 1 is included in those, so we need to make sure we have both of those. So since we have all right over here, least common denominator is x minus 1, x plus 4. So what do we need to do with that? We could do that, so what do you get? X squared. Good, so that's our least common denominator. So now that we have that, we can multiply it. So I'm going to go ahead and write it over 1, so just so we can see that it is multiplied only for the top. We have times x squared plus 3x minus minus Yep, you can either leave it as the factor x minus 1, x plus 4, or you can do it for It doesn't matter which way you go, you'll get the same thing. So I'm just going to do it, since we've already factored it, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Over 1, and then same thing on the bottom. Okay. We are actually going to when we multiply it, we're going to keep it in factored form and then multiply it through later. So I'm just going to rewrite the problem down here. <coughs> so I'm going to go times x minus 1, x plus 4, over 1. And again, I'm just writing it over 1, just to remind us that we're only multiplying it for the top. What is it? Oh, thank you. Okay, so now we'll multiply it through. So we'll have x minus 1 times x plus 4 over the 1. So x minus 1, x plus 4 over our x minus 1 plus, and then same thing times our 3. 3 times x minus 1 x plus 4, all over, and then same thing times our 2. Plus, and then same thing times our 4 over x plus 4. Okay, now looking, it looks like it's a lot to look at. 
But is there anything that you can notice that cancels? Good. X minus one, X minus one. Anything else? Good. And that's why right away we want to keep it with them factored. So we can easily see what will cancel. So now I'm just going to rewrite it so I don't have all those crossed up. So we have x plus 4 plus 3. And here is our x minus 1, x plus 4, which we already said from right here was x squared plus 3x minus 4. So I'm going to rewrite that as that. No, no, over the 2, and again, we already said that x minus 1, x plus 4 was x squared minus, plus 3x, I mean minus 4, so I'm just going to go ahead and write it like that, and then <coughs> what we're left with. Nope, not yet. Now we need to combine all of our like terms, okay? So first thing, well, what's the first thing you think we should do? Yep, good, distribute. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy our x plus 4 plus, and how would we distribute this? Good. 9x minus 12, good. And what about on the bottom? And then, good. So now we can just combine all of our like terms. So, does someone from this back middle table want to combine the like terms for me? Do you want to do it for me? Thank <laughs> you. 